In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple blitzing concept out of the nickel triple, a very unique pressure, and I want to talk about why the blitz works, not just the uh, pressure itself. So this is going to help you with a little bit of a guide to how to make your own AGAT blitzes in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Again, my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden. I do that through posting tips like this uh, to show you uh, plays that work and why they work. I also do that through strategies, tactics, schemes. I also do that through streaming. I stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time uh, right here on my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you can be notified whenever we go live tonight. And last but not least, guys, I do want to encourage you, if you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord. My Discord is the best possible place for you to improve your game in Madden because you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. And Discord is a community hub where I have over 200 members that are helping people get better at Madden right now. So if you want to get better at Madden, jump in the Discord and start chatting in the chat. All right, guys, nickel triple. Now, this is a very unique defense, in my opinion. And the reason that it's a unique defense is because the uh, linebacker is going to actually um, stack right in here, as you see here uh, with the Patriots. See Dante Howard, Hightower? I can put a safety in here. So I can put, like, 92 speed Terrence Brooks right in that gap. That's what makes this blitz so good. Um, now, again, you can do this out of any uh, any play in your playbook. The one that I like to do the most is Nickel Blitz 3 um, or Hot Blitz 3. Uh, personally, I think the Nickel Blitz 3, so you get the stock purple zones, you get the stock cover 3 match, or you could even do Nickel Blitz. But this is universal concepts, and we're going to go over um, this Nickel Blitz. So any of the Nickel Blitzes this works just fine from. You just want to make sure that linebacker is already blitzing. That's the key to the, to the defense, okay? Um, well, it's not the key to the defense, but it just saves you an adjustment, okay? So nickel blitz three. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to press coverage. And then for this specific one, I think I can just QB contain this. And what you'll see here is you'll see, and ah, we got edge pressure. Didn't quite get the A-gap pressure there that I wanted. Um, let's, let's do the other adjustment. So uh, press coverage, crash your line to the uh, left, slant left. Okay, and then you're going to take Simon here, throw him into a zone, and then you're just going to user this guy right here, high tower. Make sure you QB contain as your last step to the blitz, and that's what's going to make everything really, really work well. And what you'll see here is you're going to get that A-gap pressure from 92 speed uh, Terrence Brooks. Now, he does get nano detected. I do want you to understand he is going to get nano detected in practice mode. But in game mode, um, he does not get nano detected. When you run this pressure in game, he's not going to get nano detected. You're going to be able to get the pressure in. To make this what's a little bit better, you can slide this little slot DB right here off the left side, and you're going to actually be able to get edge, edge pressure as well uh, most of the time with this. There you see 92 speed Terrence Brooks comes right through the A gap uh, right at the opponent. So, uh, guys, this pressure right here is. Very, very simple blitzing concept in Madden 21. Uh, it's all about, I basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to make sure that this this contain right here comes from the interior guy. And what it does is it creates a very unique blitz angle that just swoops right through. Uh, and as you can see there, we're able to get the AGAP pressure, uh, not just from Terrence Brooks, but also from the defensive tackle. So this right here is the basic formula for blitzing in Madden 21. If you want to try blitzing out of any formation, this is what I basically start with. Can I do a simple overload like this? And if I can't, what can I do off of that? Um, it's just one of the best ways to blitz this year, guys. Um, if you want to get pressure, this is this is what I would recommend. You see, you're either going to get edge heat or you're going to get A-gap pressure. Uh, most of the time, I'm going to get A-gap pressure. Again, make sure to understand that you are, um, you are doing the slant of your line. And what that's going to do is it's going to slant everybody to the right and isolate Terrence Brooks one-on-one -on -one with that tackle. And because of his speed, he's going to be able to slip right through. As you see there, he comes right through. And then you can you can click onto them if you want to. Um, what you'll notice here really quick, let me show you this real quick. This is a little bit of a pro tip with these blitzes. If you do, in the off chance that you are getting nano detected and you're like, why won't the blitz come in? Why won't the blitz come in? I do want to show you this real quick. So at the snap of the ball, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit circle, uh, and it's going to put me right on Terrence Brooks, and I'm going to be able to come in with him as well. So you can do that also. Again, for my money, uh, and what I would recommend for you guys is just let the the nano detection is going to do enough. Like if I'm the quarterback and I see someone standing right there, like I'm I'm scrambling, I'm going to move. And if he moves, if he what you have to also understand is if the quarterback moves, that na that's why nano detection um, is such an issue in practice mode because the quarterback's not moving. Um, but when the quarterback moves, the nano detection goes away. So you do have to also understand that about the game. 
Um, but watch here. I'm going to move with Ky Kyler Murray. And what you see here, I'm going to step right up into the blitz. I literally am going to step right up into the pocket and be right in that A-gap pressure. So, you know, this is just one of the better blitzes in the game. Um, nickel triple, it's a very unique formation. Uh, I believe that I am in the uh, Miami Dolphins playbook or the Baltimore Ravens playbook. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll put the playbook for you in the description as well, along with the play setup um, so that you can you can see that. But there you see it. Like, see how he's right there? Like, I'm telling you right now, in game mode, that's a sack. Uh, in mutt, that's a sack. But that's the nickel triple blitz. Um, again, I want to see you guys running some unique formations. So test out that blitzing concept. Let me know what you think of it. Again, that's the basic formula this year for blitzing, at least so far. Um, so hopefully this will help you. This is not just a money blitz from nickel triple, but it's also a guide to do it from other formations that you also are going to have uh, in your disposal. So hopefully this helped you guys. Again, I do want to encourage you, if you haven't already, to make sure to join my Discord. My Discord is the best possible place. We're talking about blitzing, pressure setups, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, and so if you actually have a question about how to get a blitz out of a certain formation, it's better to lab with a team than lab by yourself, uh, as I have very... Uh, so very humbly learned uh, in this Madden season early on. So make sure you're using your team. Make sure you're using that community. That Discord is meant to help. It's meant to surround you guys. But, again, it's only as good as you use it. And i got a lot of people right now who I want to ask you personally right now to go into Discord, post your questions in there, um, set up lab games in there, share some of your ideas, some of your schemes. What are you doing? I'd love to see the Discord start being flooded um, with people sharing their ideas because, again, the best idea wins the day. But you have to have the ideas for the best idea to win the day. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys have been amazing. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Again, we upload four times a day here on YouTube, and we stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So if you want to continue the conversation at how to get pressure in Madden 21 or some of my other videos, you can check the videos that are about to come up on your screen. Otherwise, we will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern.